the hay meadow. Uh, my name is Hayley. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And um, to all those people coming back, uh, welcome back again. Now, do I have a video in store for you? Now, you'll recall probably a couple of weeks ago now, I made a list of um, five t-shirt patterns that I wanted to try out. I basically wanted to make myself a whole new range of t-shirts for the summer. So I live in Australia, you can probably tell, um, and we are just going into spring. Now, if you're lucky, the weather will start up again because it has been absolutely um, pelting down today and blowing again. Um, I tried to take photos uh, of my t-shirts on my mannequin and I thought I would take them outside. However, it was not. The weather was not conducive to outside photography or anything staying reasonably still or the mannequin staying upright. Anyway, I digress. Now, before I get onto the t-shirts, obviously you want to know what I'm wearing today because you haven't seen this one. This is one of the other Sewing Revival fantail tops that I've made. This is in a um, French terry. Um, and this is actually a Nerida Hansen uh, print. I got this earlier, either late last year or earlier this year um, on a sale. Um, so yeah, once I had made the first toile, I uh, whipped this one up and um, yeah, it's been a regular. It's a nice, you know, it's a nice spring sort of print. So I thought that would um, be nice and cheery. Now, let's get onto the t-shirts. Now you'll recall that um, out of the five patterns I was going to make, four of them, no less, are pattern emporium patterns. Um, now, the brilliant thing is, which I found out very, very early on, uh, with the pattern emporium patterns, all of them have the same sizing. So um, basically it's uh, their size from your high bust um, then your bust and then your other your other measurements. So the um, Pattern Emporium measurements for all of the t-shirts that I'm going to talk about go from a Australian size 6, which is a 77 to a 79 centimetre or a 30 and a quarter to 31 inch high bust measurement uh, right up to a 24, which is a 115 to 120 centimeter or 45 and a quarter to 47 and a quarter inch high bust measurement. So once I'd made my first twile, which we have here, which is the endless summer tea, once I made my first twile, well, I was basically set for the sizing um, to the point where I actually didn't make a twile for any of the others so it was just this one so this is the twile for this particular one uh, now you'll recall that I said I was going to make the uh, cap sleeve and the high scoop neck so that doesn't actually look like the high scoop neck maybe I didn't make the high scoop neck not in that one anyway um, you know what I've really found I actually need to be making notes as I'm sewing up or cutting out or whatevering the patterns that I've decided to do. So I've gone back at the end of each and tried to remember what I've done. And you'd think after this many, I would have cottoned on, but perhaps make notes as I go. Didn't know. Um, so yes, yeah, so little cap sleeve. And that's come up a treat. So as I said, this was my twile. Now, this was a fabric from Spotlight. It's not got the um, most amount of stretch in it. Uh, however, it's got, um, it's like, I'm not sure if they call it a slub detail, um, but yeah, I really like it. So this is my wearable twile. Um, I used the Mariflex thread in this one. I used the navy, so the only part you can see here is the hem there, which I thought was a bit of a detail. I haven't put a tag on this one. So yeah, so that's the first one. Hi, it's video editing Hayley again. 
obviously I forgot yesterday that um, I was talking about Jersey and sewing Jersey and um, I've been spouting on about Mariflex thread for ages. Uh, had the perfect opportunity to talk about it because, you know, sewing Jersey and all that jazz and uh, didn't. Hmm. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do now. So I've actually come into the space where all the magic happens, as you can see by my friend just beside me. Oh, and the, the one that's standing over there as well. Um, this is my sewing space. So I do share this with my partner, so I'm not going to give you a tour of this. This is as close as you're going to get to Hayley doing any kind of sew along. Um, there are so many more people, so much better qualified than me to do sew alongs. But I can talk about Mariflex thread. Now, as I've said many times, Mariflex is actually a stretch thread. So here's one I've prepared earlier. This is a black. I've got black. I've got, this is all I've got left of my black. This is all I've got left of my current white. I have one and a bit red, uh, two full navy, thanks to Andrea's box yesterday, uh, and a navy on the go in there as well. <clears throat> I've been using quite a bit of Mariflex of late. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to sew up a little piece of scrap jersey here um, and just show you how fantastic this stuff is. Now, in saying that, here in Australia, I've only managed to get it from either Andrea at Beyond the Pink Door in Ireland or Kristen from the Dahlia Sew Society has just started stocking it as well. Now, I did see a commenter wrote a couple of weeks back um, that there is another store here, uh, I think it's in Western Australia, that is stocking the Mariflex. That's just occurred to me right then, so I don't have the details of that. Um, I might put them in the description box, but don't, don't quote me. Anyway, back to the Mariflex. Now, the beauty of the Mariflex thread is that you can sew a straight stitch. You don't have to worry about that fear of snapping, and you don't have to use a um, zigzag stitch. So, yeah, at least I can do a um, single stitch or I could put a twin needle in. I don't do that very often. I do have plans to do that, but I don't do that very often. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Let's talk about the Mariflex. So I've got my machine here. Now the um, key with Mariflex is that you need four stitches in a one centimeter um, space. So that works out for my machine. Uh, I put that on a three, and sew away. So uh, here we go. Okay, so here we are at my machine. And as you can see, I have it on just a plain straight stitch. <clears throat> and mine is automatically at 2.5, but I'm just gonna increase that to three. Um, and that gives me uh, approximately four stitches per one centimeter. Okay, so here's our little piece of fabric here. And I'm just gonna fold that over so we get a nice good amount and uh, this is the the grain and this is the cross grain so okay so we'll just it's on three straight stitch jersey needle off we go is that okay we'll just go this way okay so there we go so across the grain line we'll just give that a stretch and look at that that's with a straight stretch a uh, straight stitch how fantastic is that? And then this is cross grain. No fear of that snapping. <clears throat> Look at like that. I am pulling on that as hard as I can. So that, ladies and gentlemen, 
is the absolute joy of Mariflex and why the, those of us who have had the uh, opportunity to use it are absolutely in love. You're, when you're filling your bobbin, um, you don't need to do anything different. You just wind your bobbin the same way you would um, normally with any other thread. Um, it's set up the same as any other thread. It's just magic, absolutely magic. So, um, yeah, if you haven't, if you sew with jersey often um, and you haven't seen Mariflex yet, um, depending on where you live, then, yeah, pop some in your basket, whether it be at um, the Dahlia Sew Society or from Andrea and Keris at Beyond the Pink Door. Uh, yeah, it's really um, life-changing. That's probably a bit too over the top. It's not really life-changing, is it? Anyway, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I'd much rather unpick that than zigzags. I could never work out how long the zigzag was supposed to be either. Anyway, so to tell the difference between uh, the Mariflex and the usual, um, the ordinary Goodman thread, so you see that the Mariflex has got the yellow um, band on it, so it's quite a bright yellow, um, as opposed to the more like sort of cream. So this is just your normal sew all um, thread. And then I do actually have, what one's this one? So this is, that's cotton. So that's 100% cotton. Um, there is another one in here too, which is another polyester one. So that's just white. And that says 100% polyester as opposed to 100% polyester, who knows. Anyway, as I said, that's the closest you're ever going to come to a sew along with Hayley. I hope you enjoyed it. And with that, I'll return you to your regularly scheduled programming. Bye. I followed that up. Now you'll remember the, like it's almost a, like a raspberry red and white stripe um, cotton jersey. So this is um, an elastane cotton jersey. So the stretch is really good in this one. And you'll see that I've done the um, neckline and armbands again in the same fabric. But I've actually, for the, for the neckline, I've actually done it the opposite way. So I think that looks really cool. Now, I'll be putting some photos in here of the absolutely amazing stripe pattern matching of this particular t-shirt. Now, I finished this and took photos and sent them to a number of people because I was so amazed at the wonderful pattern matching here. So anyway, now I did put a little tag. So this is a Kylie and the Machines tag. So just a little me made. So yeah, I really like that one. I really, I think I may have said in that particular video that I like the classic sort of print. So I love a stripe. So I'm all about a good stripe. So that one is really nice. I've actually worn this um, already for the next one, which is the Keep It Simple Babe Tee. Now this one, again, I did the cap sleeve, but this one I did a boat neck. So I'm quite partial to a boat neck, something a bit different. Um, and then the little cap sleeve there. Now you'll recall that I wasn't sure about this one because of the, uh, it wasn't overly um, stretchy. The stretch in it wasn't overly um, stretchy. How many times can I say stretchy in one video? Anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so I made that one. Now <clears throat> I was sneaky and actually wore this to work the day after I had made it. Uh, it was, yeah, I really liked it. So although I was um, cautious about making a t-shirt in this fabric due to the lack of um, stretch that it had, um, yeah, I really like it. It's got a really nice shape to the bottom. It sort of, it flares out a little bit. I think the structure of the um, fabric also helps with that. So yeah, it gives it a really nice, a really nice line. So very happy with that one. Um, again, 
I use the Mariflex in the black. So I've got quite a collection of the Mariflex now. Um, and this one, the little tag that I chose, and the, I'll probably have the pictures going up as well for this. Um, so the little tag that I chose was this one, so handmade. Is that up the right way? Yes. So it's a hand with made on it. So yeah, really happy with that one. Okay, now <laughs> the next one that I made um, was the Hello Gorgeous Puff Sleeve T-shirt. Now you recall at the time uh, I had those fabrics um, laid out and I wasn't sure what fabric would go with what um, blouse or what t-shirt. And um, I had the houndstooth there. Now the houndstooth was, an, it's got excellent recovery on that one. Um, and I made a comment at the time <laughs> saying that I felt a little bit self-conscious in the Audrey top that I had made in that houndstooth. So what better way to blend into the background than to make the Hello Gorgeous Puff Sleeve T-shirt, not only with the, you know, um, eye-catching houndstooth print, but also with a Brodrion Glaze Contrast Puff Sleeve. Now look at that, look at that. Now, I'll let you know that there are puff sleeves and then there are puff sleeves. So not only am I grabbing attention with this wonderful houndstooth, but then I have these wonderful puff sleeves. So once I finish this and put it on, um, I did have a bit of a laugh <laughs> because I recalled that comment about feeling a little bit self-conscious and thought, of course, blend into the background with a nice puff sleeve. You know, if I had used the actual fabric or perhaps even um, the, a black um, cotton jersey, um, it probably, the effect, of course, wouldn't have been quite so dramatic. But um, look, I'm not going to apologise for it. I quite like it. Um, yeah, it looks all right. Um, I did put another little tag. Now, this one, one of a kind, and it definitely is one of a kind now you may be wondering why does she keep putting her tags on the bottom i'll tell you why because i forget every time this is another one of those uh, moments where i should go to the pattern instructions and write when i get to like putting on the collar band or whatever it happens to be insert tag here but no Anyway, moving on. So that one was the Hello Gorgeous Puff Sleeve. Uh, so that was the short puff sleeve and that was the um, high round collar. Um, so yes, I really like that one. You know, to be honest, I've, um, I've not worn that yet. However, I think with a pair of black jeans and um, a little flat shoe, that would be quite, quite a nice little outfit, so. Yeah. Okay, so next up we have the B U T or beauty, and it is a beauty. Um, and this is again, this is in the same type of material as that first uh, endless summer. So you'll see that it's got that cotton slub type of effect um, through it, and this is in like a an aquary type of green. Now for this one, I went with the um, short sleeve and the mid neckline so this one's a little bit lower but i also went with the high low option so hopefully my little arms can stretch enough oh yeah there we go again there'll be photos here showing the different angles on my uh, mannequin um so yeah this one's great i really like this one so i wore this one the other day Ooh, i really liked it okay now You'll recall that when I was going through those patterns um, in my last, in, the, in that video, um, I spoke about five patterns. I talked about the four Pattern Emporium patterns that we've already looked at. Um, and I also talked about the Deer and Doe Plantain Tea. And I made a total of zero Plantain Teas. 
However, what I did make was the True Bias Rio Ringer tee. Now, the reason I swapped um, the patterns around was because I was actually looking for a t-shirt dress pattern. Now, you'll recall that I've got, I had that um, absolutely gorgeous blue ginkgo um, fabric that really needed to be, that needed to be a dress of some description. Uh, and I wanted it to be something that I was going to wear, enjoy wearing, and would reach for. So I thought, why not? I'll um, make a t-shirt dress out of it. Now, it's turned out a drink. Anyway, however, I did make a toile of that particular one because again, uh, it was the first time I was making that pattern. I actually made four of these. Now the first one I made, um, as I said, I wanted to try the, I wanted a t-shirt dress. So I, I had looked at a couple of options and I did have another, it's the Love Notions Laundry Day tee dress. I do have one of those, but that has, um, it's a bit of a fit and flare. So the bottom of it is a bit flared out and I wanted something a bit more, um, a bit less, not quite so flary. Um, so this is it. So this is the first Rio Ringer that I made. And this is in the um, t-shirt dress length and there'll be photos there. Um, and I've used the contrasting white, um, white ribbing uh, for the cuffs, the cuffs and the neckband. Um, and this came up fantastic. I really liked it. Um, the only thing about this one is it does have a bit of a nighty vibe about it. So this particular one is going to be an at-home um, t-shirt dress. Now, what that meant, and I really liked this pattern. I really liked um, the way that the t-shirt came up, um, the style. So I then made this one, which is just a t-shirt. So this fabric is from the um, Beyond the Pink Door. This was the extra fabric that I ordered. Uh, and this was the, I think it's called Pink and, oh, what's it called? I can't remember, something or other waves. Wavy waves? I don't know. Um, however, so I've used the red contrasting and it came up wonderful. Now, one thing I did do is I did actually lengthen it by two inches just to make sure that it came down to sort of my lower hip. That's where I like my t-shirts. If you keep the noise down in the back there, you're obviously keeping me awake. Um, so yeah, so I really love this. Now I have worn, <laughs> I've worn this one already. Um, yeah, really like that. That then uh, became the next one, which um, again, Beyond the Pink Door, this was from, uh, I think this was Think Pink So Scription Box 5. I have a feeling it was 5. Um, so that's absolutely gorgeous. I used the white. Now this time I actually used the white... Um, the white binding that came on that I ordered extra again from Beyond the Pink Door. Uh, they came on those little cards. I haven't seen them here in Australia. I haven't looked very hard either. Um, but yeah, so that that came uh, together beautifully. I really liked that. It was a hard toss up because I did consider I've got binding in uh, red, uh, a navy um, and the white. Uh, the pinks that I had didn't really match, um, but yeah, I thought that it looked. It's a really nice, lovely, um, lovely finish on that. Oh, I didn't show you my my tags. So this one is the perfectly imperfect, and I thought red and pink that just went beautifully. Oh, and. Um, have a look at that stripe matching there. It's not too bad. So the problem with this particular one is that the stripes sort of undulate. So they go, the thickness of them varies, as you can see. 
Um, so that made the pattern matching, that made the stripe matching quite difficult, I can tell you. And it's not really well matched at all there on the shoulders, but I don't know. I don't recall ever looking at somebody else's um, t-shirt and thinking, oh, they really didn't worry with their pattern matching there because you just figure it's mass produced. Um, so yeah, so again, not bad pattern matching there. I'm sure I took a photo of the of the pattern matching. So again, up the top there, you know, you can't have everything. But yeah, so that worked out lovely. And the uh, one that I put on here is make. Again, in the side because I'd forgotten. Now, last but not least, we have, look at that, look at that, that is just stunning. I am so in love with this t-shirt dress. The problem is, I have to, I'm going to have to make myself wear it and not save it for good. I don't know about you, but sometimes it's like, oh, I've got to save that one for good. And you never end up wearing it. So... I've, this is the reason why I've made this in the t-shirt dress was so that I actually would wear it. Now, what I did do with this one, so um, this one isn't lengthened through the bodice um, and I didn't take it up at all. So um, this, I can't remember what it's drafted for. It might be five foot five, don't quote me on that. I didn't raise the length and it's just below um, my knee, which is fine for me. Um, what I did do is I actually made the bands a little, just that tiny little bit um, bigger. So I just cut them. I think I made them three inches in total. So it would be one and a half or just under one and a half inches there. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I just thought it would be nice, you know, a little bit different, a little bit thicker. Um, and the I did actually put the tag on the back of this one uh, and this is a cheeky cheeky tag so if you're easily offended <laughs> if you're easily offended you're probably not watching this channel let's be honest um, if you're easily offended look away now look away now but um, that is exactly how I felt when I finished this <laughs> the fabric so the ginkgo fabric now, um, as I said, this is from May Design Fabrics, which is, is an Australian um, fabric store. Um, now, this is a collaboration with Winding Road Design Studio, um, and this is the Mountain Collection. Now, I did pop on um, May Design just before, and they do still have this jersey in stock. Um, so, yeah, if you, if you like it, go and grab some. Thanks for sticking around. Um, they are my t-shirts for this summer. Uh, hopefully, if you're looking for some t-shirts, you might have found something here that will um, suit you as well. Um, but yeah, the um, Pat Emporium shirts, they all came together super easy. Uh, Kate always does a fantastic video roundup with each new pattern that she releases. Um, so along with the pattern, you'll have the video release for that and she will um, showcase that pattern, all of the options that it comes in, um, a multitude of different fabrics um, that she's recreated it in. Um, yeah, so if you haven't checked out Pattern Emporium, definitely do. Their, their patterns are wonderful. Um, so many variations. You know, one pattern you're getting multiple different garments out of. Um, so yeah, highly recommend uh, Pattern Emporium. And the, the True Bias Rio Ringer, again, super easy, nice and quick. Um, by the time I got around to making the dress, it only took me a couple of hours from cutting out the fabric to having it finished. Um, they were all very quick makes. Um, so yeah, highly recommend all of those patterns. Now, also my lovely friend Rachel from the French Scenes. Thank you, Rachel, for your shout out. I really, um, that was a nice surprise. Thank you very much. Um, now, Rachel also did a t-shirt pattern roundup a couple of months ago before um, their summer hit. Um, so if you haven't, I highly recommend checking out that video. 
um, because that's where I got some of my inspiration from as well. So, yeah. Well, that's it for me. Thank you once again. Um, I look forward to seeing you again next time and um, that's probably going to be sooner than you think. See you soon. Bye.